All right, so three updates regarding uh, Mig Switch. Uh, the Wind Later finally got an update, and also a channel update. Usually, I just do the channel updates every once in a while. What you're seeing in the background, obviously, is driver on PC. You can easily get the... I'll put a link down in the description if you want to pick it up. Obviously, I'm not going to get... YouTube's not going to, uh, like, take down my channel for at least leaving a link to the fucking game. So if you want to pick it up, you can. Now, the, the first update I'm going to go over, obviously, is, like, the mix switch thing. Uh, like because I'm highly interested in the mix switch. The second thing is going to be wind later, obviously. Got a new update. Uh, obviously, I'll do kind of a comparison between like the previous version of wind later and the more updated in terms of performance. So I'll be going over that. And also the third thing, lastly, will be my channel update. So as we know, the mix switch it has been in the, new in the news lately, including obviously what I'm uploading today. I'm going to read off the kind of the warning right here. Mix switch is a third party and backup tool or third party and development device for the Nintendo Switch hash, hashtag like Nintendo of Japan or Nintendo of America. Before ordering or using the Mix switch, you must carefully document yourself about the legality of creating backups of your own game cartridges in your country or word, whatever country it is, backing up your own legally owned game surprisingly is not permitted in every country and can constitute serious offense in some. So it depends on where you're at. It can be illegal to do this for whatever reason, even though you own it or you bought it. Mix switch does not and, and the, the mix switch does not approve of use of the device with you know you know sailing the seven seas off of different websites. So in general, basically is what it's saying is it's it doesn't endorse piracy. And everybody knows exactly what they're gonna obviously do. They're not gonna follow along with the rule what they're saying. And they they obviously know that like people are gonna go out and download ROMs from the internet and put it on this fucking thing and just, you know, you know what I mean? Like just go go across the like ocean and uh, acquire these type of ROMs. So it's obviously gonna happen and one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the switch 2 or the switch rumors if it does have back compat this is not gonna i'm guaranteeing you this is not gonna work on the next gen switch this is not gonna work on the refreshed version of the switch and who knows that these oled models that are currently out right now if you go and buy an oled model they would have they could have just shipped a more a model with a more updated recent firmware or they could later on ship newer OLED models with updated firmware, with a more updated firmware out there to block the mix switch. Now, obviously, I don't have the device in my hands yet, so I can't per se any information that is everything that I'm saying is basically alleged. So, as of others who have already had like the mix switch, as I've watched the videos, you can't. I can confirm that it works and obviously it's a great device now who's this, who is this device for what like what what is so important about this device what one thing i can answer for you when it comes to this is the when it comes to the nintendo switch or even like switch in general a lot of games triple a games third party games coming out to the switch are digital only uh grid, grid auto support i'm not gonna say alien isolation or even doom eternal because they just came out physically thanks to uh limit run games but a lot of games nowadays are not like easily preservable at all unless you hack your switch which you know i i don't know how to i want to learn how to do that by the way i haven't learned how to do that yet i just don't want to go through the effort of hacking my switch when it comes to that and also i can't confirm that if you download the the games from the the your account I don't know if it's going to work out that way. You're going to have to sail the electric ocean when it comes to these digital only games. That's what this device is for specifically is for the digital only games such as Grid Autosport and a few others. What that's the only other way to make them physical. Why physical media is important? Well, in some ways you have more control over your stuff. So going out and buying this thing, it's going to cost about 60 bucks. Uh, I think shipping potentially is going to cost 15 bucks. I don't know, it doesn't tell me. Uh, if it's right in front of my face, then I guess it's right in front of my face and I didn't really notice it. I, I'm thinking that the 1474 was shot. I think that's a discount, but I, I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Anyway, if you go out and buy this thing, uh, it could be about 65, 75 bucks, give or take. 
Now, when it comes to switching cartridges uh, with, like, the... Or is it, when it comes to, like, the mix switch and you put it inside your switch, you hold it for a set amount of time, I personally would say just go out and get, like, a pack of 32 gigabyte uh, SD cards or just get a pack of 16 gigabyte because usually the highest some switch games will go is about 16 gigs at most maybe even more who knows but like this is also an option if you don't want to deal with having to like pu push down the cartridge and then lift it up and then just having to go through that you can just like have several SD cards I do this with my Steam Deck I have like four other cards f filled with games so you know, it's kind of useful in that sense, so if you want to switch to a different game, you just swap out. This is kind of an option. If you guys want to go that route, you can. You guys don't have to, but this is the route I'm thinking I'm going to go. And this is only stated for crossing the Atlantic Ocean. And you, you guys probably get what I'm talking about. So, in a sense, it's a cool product for making digital-only Nintendo Switch games physical. I'm going to definitely pick it up because of, you know, specifically, like, a few games I have in mind. So... It's a great product. Now, is this thing going to get blocked? Is this thing going to get... Is the website going to get pulled down? Is Nintendo going to try and take action? I don't know. Uh, more than likely, they're going to... They potentially might. So, in case that happens, I'd suggest picking this thing up very soon. Because who knows what class action launch lawsuit that uh, makes which or the, the team execute or whoever could basically face when it comes to this. And... Nintendo has some money. So when it comes to this, this this isn't going to go well too well. They could potentially find a way to block it, like I said, through an update or something like that. And one more thing to keep in mind, please do not go online at all, no matter if it, if you legally backed up your Nintendo Switch games using the dumper or, you know, you sailed the Atlantic Ocean and acquired games that way, please do not go online because your account could be banned or your Switch could be bricked or something that, like that coming from Nintendo. I'm not, I would not risk doing that, so just keep that in mind. Now, enough about that when it comes to the Mix Switch. We're going to talk about one later. It recently got an update, and it's exciting because the team is actually working really hard on this. The performance improvement is the one thing I was looking at when it comes to this. Yes, it does it's actually a 10 like 10 frame it's like 10 frames of an improvement like i'm not even kidding i have i i have recent recording footage because i went and recorded more footage just adds up the recording is complete dog shit so i'm sorry about that this is the best i got for right now until i figure out something else but in general i want you guys to pay attention to the fps but huge improvement when it comes to the flat out ultimate carnage versus like the previous one and then also another one i'm gonna state is need for speed most wanted the more recent one up like with the performance versus like the last one so pay attention to the fps if you haven't already feel free to re like rewind the video a little bit but in general as you guys can see 4.0 just released i'm excited it also when it comes to the the imp the input controls I'm I'm personally not using them because I don't need to because I, I already have my control set up. But you can see it has now full X input support. So if you have phone controllers or something like that, it supports that now. As far as, it's alleged, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if you guys can't get it to work, let I mean I guess let me know down in the comments. But personally, I haven't tested this. I do have a Razer Kishi controller. I haven't tested it yet, but in general. The WinLayer 4.0 just dropped. I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to download the latest update. Uh, and also, in all intents and purposes, make sure you back up this file as well in case anything happens. But in general, I mean, what I mean is, like, some if you have a storage device, you can just copy it over and just back it up that way. That's exactly what I mean. So, huge improvements on uh, a lot of games. Uh, I'm not going to say because I've already tested with Fear. I'm not going to show that right here, but not too different with fear um i didn't get a chance to test that crisis but i'm sure it's improved but all i know is uh flat out ultimate carnage is not a slideshow anymore and also need for speed most one is not a slideshow anymore so it's a huge performance improvement when it comes to that so the team behind win later is doing a fantastic job i have i'm excited for the future of win later i'm looking forward to more updates uh i'm guessing like the 5.0 i will drop a video on it later if there's a 5.0 update or 
anything that's important when it comes to one later any important information regarding like in any performance boosts and i will do a comparison as well with a better setup and I will talk about it, obviously, because one later is great. I This is actually, I want to call it emulator, but I'm just going to call it an emulator for the sake of the video. It is one of my favorite emulators out there so far. Um, I would just consider a Windows emulator, even though it's a wine backend, just to, like, obviously translate different language to the other language. So, in general, it's basically wine, but... I'm going to still call it a Windows emulator. So now that we're done talking about it, what's going on with my channel? What's the update process? And what what's basically why am I updating you guys what, regarding my channel? I am updating you guys regarding my channel because I just want to let you guys know what's going to go on for the future, what's going to go on with uh, 2024, etc. What's new with my channel? Uh, anything that I have plans. So the first thing is, I'm still going to stick with the same content, even though I changed my name to from, like, Alexander to, like, Personal Computer Test. That's not going to change the content of my channel. I have no plans of changing the content of what I do. I usually regularly just upload whatever I find exciting or, or appealing. I'll just upload it. I'm still going to stick with the... the I'm st I still haven't continued the series yet, um, the retrospective of Need for Speed. That's still in the works. That's not changing. I'm not dropping that. Re regarding uh, my cinematics and stuff, I'm not dropping that either. Even though, my, hence my name is called Personal Computer Test, I'm still going to keep this same great contact. Now, what about what about a second channel? Well, I've thought about it a couple of times, um, and I'm not sure if I do want to make a second channel. Uh, I don't want to do that to you guys because I know a lot of YouTubers will do that for a specific reason, either regarding, like, say, for instance, their original channel got hacked, and then they have to find a way to communicate, so they just go on their second channel. That's also an option on re the reason why I would probably make a second channel, but a, a second reason probably is because of the specific content that I do want to put on a second channel regarding, like I said, my cinematics or my retrospective series. It's a completely different type of uh, content versus like just being PC focused only or computer focused only. As of right now, I don't really want to do that. And especially I don't want to do that to people and then tell them to go subscribe to the second channel as of yet. Right now, I just don't want to make a second channel. It's a pain in the ass to have a different email on top of that. I don't know how to do that kind of thing. I don't know if there's a way to actually make two channels on one email. I'm not sure yet. Uh, if somebody has information regarding that, let me know down in the comments if you can. Otherwise, in general, my content's not changing. I'm still going to stick with the same genre. I just wanted to call it personal computer test because... Mostly regarding when it comes to the, most of my stuff I do is regarding to software or anything regarding to computers or something like that. Mostly this channel is regarded around that, though there are some sprites of like the cinematics and stuff I like doing. And also when it comes to, like I said, a retrospective series of Need for Speed, which next one is going to be Porsche Unleashed, obviously, because I've gotten past the... the I've already did the last four games. The latest one is Need for Speed High Stakes. So, in general, um, if you guys want to check out the series, uh, my four, first four videos, I will be linking that down in the description. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. And also, when it comes to the vlogs, I'm still going to do that, obviously. I'm not giving up on the vlogs. You know, I still got my uh, trip. I, I'm work, I need to work on that video. I need to get that uploaded. I know I've mentioned that before about my plane trip but i haven't gotten the chance to upload and talk about it before so i will eventually get to that since like just hold your seats when it comes to that i have a lot of stuff i've been doing when it comes to uh my life in the back end it's not easy i deal with a i deal with depression and i deal with a, a, a lot of stress and anger i guess and i'm working religiously on trying to improve myself as i go through life Life ain't easy, you know. I'm sure a lot of people would agree that when it comes to life, it's not sunshine and rainbows like it was when you were a kid, you know. And I obviously come to realize that. And that the mindset that I have currently is I'm not generally, I'm not, a, I'm not really a happy person. And I'm not going to blame the world for that. I'm not going to blame myself for that. It's just how it is. I deal with depression 
And again, like I said, I'm working through it and I'm working to get myself through the the toughest times when it comes to my my issues. Like say for instance something goes wrong on my fucking computer, I'm pissed off, you know? Like and it's not like just a normal pissed off, like I I'm not a I'm not a nice person the next minute, you know? It's stuff like that I'm trying to work on. So I have a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to when it comes to this channel. And for those of you, thank you guys for all everybody who's subscribed to me so far. I appreciate you guys actually taking the time to like like subscribe to me and it helps the algorithm, it helps my channel grow. I appreciate you guys helping my channel grow. I didn't do this. I think you guys took our major part of my channel so far. And this kind of I could just call this kind of a celebration as well. But in general, this is just an, a channel update as well as uh, news regarding Windlander and also news regarding Mixwitch. Because those two things are on on my top tier list right now. Windlander is great. I'm, if you guys haven't tr tried it out already. By the way, when it comes to Windlander, please have a good enough device. Because it's not the developer's fault at all. It's your device. Again, as I stated in my last video with Windlander, these devices even close... When it comes to the mo more, most powerful phone in the world, you're basically running a like either a low end 360 all the way down to like a Pentium processor, dude. Like when it comes to these devices, it's not the developer's fault. They are working really hard when it comes to the performance. So shout out to the team behind One Later. Um, again, everything will be linked down in the description. But otherwise, that's the update process on my video. I'm not changing my content. I'm still gonna be out putting the same old content i just changed the name just because i find it appealing but again thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next time peace